Hey, kiddo. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? Can you tell me what happened tonight? I... I went to show her my haircut. She had a gun. She... Take your time. She freaked out. I... I... It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried to kill me, so... So I stabbed her. I killed my mother. Okay, first, I'm gonna find the keys to the old house. Then, I'm gonna drive to Fireweed, and I'm not going to freak out. Everything's fine. Pfft. I've been practiced since high school. I'm probably super rusty. I could look at this artwork all day. Not the prettiest of my creations, but she weirdly kind of looks like me in the morning. Probably not going to see any stars at this time of day. Why would it be in here? One more season. What am I even gonna do with myself when it's over? Get invested in the lives of real people? I have got to make solid plans to see the Geminids. I wonder if Tyler'd wanna go. Hey, you wanna freeze your ass off watching burning rocks fall through the sky? Yeah, I might need to work on my sales pitch. Not here. I need to bring this with me to Juno. Oh, 
I should probably get rid of this. I mean, I can stream it anytime I want. But it makes me happy just to look at the box. No. In my desk drawer, maybe? <sighs> is he gonna like this? Or is it too much? It's gonna be so crazy to see him after all these years. Michael and Tyler are so going to hit it off. I should probably check my email one more time before I go. No, I've already done that three times this morning. Why do I still have this? Every time I look at it, it reminds me of how very single I am. Right, I stashed them down here. <laughs> so that's where you've been hiding. This feels like another lifetime. I think I'm ready to go now. Ugh, Allie. She's gonna be so awkward. I can't believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. I just need to grab my goblin and I'm off. <sighs> Bummed I have to leave this behind, but the old house would probably collapse if I blasted this inside. Man, the soundtrack to my angsty teen years. I'll leave it for the next rebel. 
They're gonna need it more than I do. Been listening to this in a loop lately. I know most of these by heart at this point. I wish I could have finished this before I left, but God, it was a slog. Hey, little guy. You're gonna be reunited with your sister soon. Cool. I guess I'm totally ready to go now. You stay here. Educate the youngsters in classic cinema. Denali. I need to get my application ready for next summer. Hi, Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in 10 years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry, I... It's fine, Allison. Hi is a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. <sighs> Likewise. You have anything else you need to get? No, nope. this is it. My last 10 years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place? The sweet taste of overcooked halibut. But seriously, yeah, it was home. For a while, you know? Oh, yeah, that, that makes sense. I'm also really happy to never eat that halibut again. We planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? You are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. Need one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. No, 
really, I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. And there was the bear, fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. I can't believe you've got a bachelor's already. While I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. What about you? Allison? Well, zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. Why did we take the ferry instead of the coast road? Because I didn't want to be stuck in the car with you for an extra two hours. Ha ha. <laughs> we have to take the ferry. It's the only way to reach Delos from Fireweed. I see. Well, good. I don't think my stomach could have taken two more hours of how you handle curves. I'm sorry. Do you want to take over driving when we dock? <laughs> no. You're going to have to get back behind that wheel at some point. And Look, I put a Fireweed van nose first in a ditch. Hey, at least you missed the porcupine. I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. Was it really that bad? Pretty much. But it could definitely have been worse. Like if you'd been tucked away in a center for troubled youth? Right. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. Is that smoke coming out of Stonehouse? That one over there? No, the one just beyond it. You know, the one the elders say is haunted to spook little kids. Oh, right. Oh, a whole group of us were drinking at a bonfire down at the point and got dared to go inside. We didn't make it past the garden. <laughs> Sounds fun. Uh, it was. So, we're really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? I mean, we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out, people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> At least it's got one hell of a view, unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. Are you still thinking you might be my roomie? Thinking about it. Hey, can I ask you a question?
suit? I was told... Um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. Allison? Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? It's a gift. From Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry. When you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Doc. Don't. And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering. And you're the two most important people in my life. Please. For me. He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. Fine. I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really. Just so we're clear, this was for you, not Chief Brown. You know, you could call him Eddie, or even... Uncle? <laughs> Hard pass. Did you hear that? Place like home. Yeah. Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Thanks. It's so weird being back on this boat. You plan in Atlanta Moose with that? Good eye. Wanna draw on a bull tag on this way. You got your license and tag on you? Why, yes, officer. Everything's in order. You hunt? Never had the chance. No. Too bad. Ain't nothing like laying down the hammer on a big damn animal. Make you feel alive. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing? Same here. You from around here?
where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing. Same here. You from around here? Born and bred. Ah, you don't say. I have moved to Anchorage around your age. Delos was mostly Alaska natives then. Clay kid, I'd, uh, I haven't been home in five years. Oh, so you owed your family a visit? I'll say. You may not know it yet, but your folks, they get old real fast. Right. I'm Alex, by the way. Alex Gershwin. No relation. Huh? To George Gershwin. Um... Gershwin, the pianist. Folks are always asking for related, so I try to hand it off in the past. Oh. Uh... What'd you say your name was? Just call me Tyler. All right. Good to meet you, Tyler. Likewise, sir. Hey, Allison. Can we take the scenic route instead of the highway? Allison? Don't think she can hear you. <laughs> Guess not. Yikes. Hey, I heard that. Tyler, we're almost there. 